A few months ago, I made a video showing off the amazing Transformers collection over at Misfit Toys in Houston, Texas. Someone commented saying that I should do more Transformers toy hunting videos at places like it, and it just so happens that a new place is opened here in the city I live in called Bat City Toys. So I took a look around, and here's what I found. All right, right when we walk in here towards the right, we've got a giant Megatron statue here holding the head of Hot Rod Erotimus. I see some cool stuff. We've got some of the exclusive Power of the Primes, War for Cybertron stuff up there, like the Quintesson set. MPP-10, oversized Masterpiece Optimus there in the back with some Combiner Wars, Power of the Primes, official Masterpiece Megatron looks like back there. And we've got the Amazon exclusive Unicron there. Bad Rodimus, Rodimus Unicronus, I think. A mix of some recent generations, Siege, War for Cybertron, Power of the Primes on this shelf, and some movie stuff here. We've got Studio Series Megatron in the back, Last Night Optimus, Hound, Barricade. Over here next to it, we've got Shattered Glass Jetfire, who is the first time I'm seeing this in person. Looks really cool. Next to Titan Arc, Jetfire, and someone who I don't know. We've got Grimlock Blaster, Nemesis Prime over here. The extremely underrated Double Dealer, Titans Return Soundwave, who I also think is pretty cool, even though he doesn't really scale with anyone. And the Titans at the store are really cool. They've all got their upgrades here. So Fortress Maximus has his upgrades for the torso cannons. We've got the sword in the hand, little wrist cannons there. Looks like he's also got the repro labels upgrades, so some nice shiny details and stickers all over. If I didn't already have a Fort Max, I would definitely go after this one because those upgrades look really nice. Then over here in another corner, we've got some new inbox stuff. Looks like some of the Amazon exclusive Wrecker sets like Springer. We've got Twin Twist from the Wreck and Roll collection. Some other generation selects, Walmart Velocitron. Some of the original Kingdom figures, which I've started to look at a lot recently because I just have watched Beast Wars for the first time and I regret not picking up some of these guys like Tigertron here. Then we've got some more War for Cybertron Siege stuff here from a few years ago. It takes me back seeing these again. Then we've got some of the Walmart Netflix exclusives like the Walmart Megatron here. Some more Generations Selects here and a third party reflector set. And here at the bottom, we've got the Orion Pax Hero is Born set and Kingdom Rodimus. Here on this cabinet, we've got a whole collection of the Combiner Wars guys. So here we have the Dinobots, Minosaur, I don't know this person's name, Superion, and the Protectobots, I think. These guys aren't my strong suit, but I recognize them for sure, and they look great. It looks like they've got their upgrades as well with those articulated hands. Again, I'm not an expert on these sets, but I've always wanted the Protectobot combiner because I had the knockoff version of them when I was little from Big Lots, and ever since then I've had huge nostalgia for the designs. I've always wanted a proper one that wouldn't fall apart on me. Then we have Combiner Wars Devastator. This looks like the Comic-Con exclusive one. His box is over here in the corner. And this is the first time I'm seeing that vacuumized metal in person, and it looks really awesome. I thought it would be overbearing, but it looks pretty tasteful. It's definitely eye-catching. And of course, on the head, we have the individual eyes instead of the visor. Then we have Predaking beside him, who's one of the few Titans I don't have. I don't know much about him, but I'm guessing this is an upgrade kit. It looks way too articulate for Hasbro. But yeah, he looks great standing right there next to Devastator on this shelf. And next to him, we have something that I'm really interested in, which is the Year of the Snake Omega Supreme. This is a retool of the Energon Omega Supreme that I'm a huge fan of. I have both him and Sentinel. And if the new Siege Omega Supreme didn't come out, I definitely would have gone for this guy at some point. I just didn't get him because of that new Siege Omega, but I'd still really like to have him in my collection, to be honest. And yeah, I'm pretty tempted by this one here. He's also got his nice, shiny Year of the Snake box. Then up here, we've got Black Zarek here and Scorponok with all of his nice upgrades. It looks great. All the upgrades on him make him look so much beefier and more interesting. And his mold partner, Black Zarek, looks pretty awesome there too. I'm noticing all the boxes for these guys here along the side, which is pretty awesome. You can get your boxes when you get some things here. Then we have Trypticon sitting at the top and we've got this Primus here. I believe this was the last night Primus. Pretty cool repaint. Again, something I don't see often in person. It's something I'd really like just because I'm really nostalgic for that Primus mold from back in the Cybertron days. Finally, over here on the rack, we've got a lot of the smaller figures. We've got the Cyberverse Adventures guys. And then we've got a lot of loose figures here that I'm gonna have to go through. Looks like a lot of older generation stuff as well as some stuff that's not so old like Siege Soundwave right here. Power of the Primes Trilogy Blur right there the older classics ratchet mold. Below them, we have some of the smaller Legends class guys here, some of the current ones, some of the older ones, 
Soundwave cassette reissues, the little guys that were reissued from Walmart. I'm forgetting what you call this class in G1, but yeah, those guys. Then we've got even more down here. I think this is one of the Walgreens exclusive figures. Again, a mix of some generation stuff from recent years. And if you spin any one of these around, there's a lot more. So over here on this side, looks like they've got a ton of Kingdom stuff, stuff like pipes. Slammer for your Metroplex right there. Some of the repainted Beast Wars guys like the Sandstorm Scorponok repaint. A lot more that I didn't see here. Again, more stuff from across the Generations line. See Shockwave that I know a lot of people regret not getting. I remember when this guy was shelf warming and now it seems like he's hard to find. A lot of the smaller Siege and Titans Returns Battle Masters and little guys here. And some smaller loose characters here. Looks like some more Legends class, Activators, things like that from across the years. And of course, I didn't go home empty-handed. I had to get Cybertron, aka Primus, while I was there. In person, his colors just really pop. I'm a big fan of the color scheme they gave this guy. And it's a mold that's aged really well, so I'm happy to have this guy in my collection. And yeah, that's a quick tour of Bat City Toys Transformers collection. Highly recommend checking it out if you're around Austin, Texas. Highly recommend checking it out if you're in Austin, Texas and a Transformers fan. Or if you're a Star Wars fan, G.I. Joe, He-Man. There's a lot more of that in the store as well. So subscribe for more Transformer stuff, maybe some more store tours like this one, reviews, stop motions, things like that. And thanks for watching.